Hi everyone, this is Angelica. How are you today? So today's video is called Why are so many people going through a spiritual awakening now? So um, the reason is is that we have to um, come together and raise the planet up and uh, make it something very beautiful along with because what's going on within us is what's going on out there and so it has to do first with the healing process that's going on within us individually where we are really taking a look at ourselves and healing inside in order for that to be projected outwards so that is what the um, awakening process is is about and even though we may possess special skills, abilities, um, and most likely people going through spiritual awakenings now have a very kind heart and they want to help. And, you know, a lot of you are healers and um, teachers and things like this. So um, you may want to help, but you cannot help anyone really truly until you are completely healed within yourself and so that's the hard part of the spiritual awakening process because you go through um, sometimes many years of, of really looking within and healing things within you and it may seem that you don't have anything to heal and um, it does appear that way a lot of times but you do and what will happen is little bits of it will come out over time and then, you know, because if you just got flooded with all this stuff at one time, it would be too much for you to handle. So this uh, process is allowing you to go very slowly, step by step, and start healing these aspects of yourself so that you will be the best possible, you know, version of yourself that you can be. And then when that happens, you're truly able to help because you are actually vibrating that energy and that's what it's about because everybody here I mean even if we didn't do anything as long as we're holding that energy and vibrating that out then we're doing what we need to be doing so um, this is why a lot of people are awakening now some people are not ready to go through this process um, it takes a very strong person to be able to look within and to, you know, take this kind of challenge on. It is kind of challenging because, um, you know, you have to look at yourself. You have to look at what you've done in the past. You have to see how you have to change. And, and people aren't always willing to do that. But once you do do that, you feel a lot better and you realize that um, everyone must go through this in order to transform the world. And I'm sure that it would be really hard if everybody went through it at the same time. So it's good that certain people are going through it first and then they can help the other ones and everything like that. So, um, but it is, it is a self-healing journey because if you're not, if you're not okay, how how can you help and expect others to be okay as well? So, and that that's a thing with, with um, spiritual awakening because th the types of people that go through this are very, very much helpers, helper oriented. They always want to help others. They feel others' pain. Um, they're, they're very loving and so they want to just start going and you know start helping and healing um, and that's great and um, you could do that but at the same time it could be taking your mind off of the fact that um, your healing is is of the most importance so <clears throat> that's what needs to be done now so just sitting with yourself really feeling um, the uncomfortable feelings that are coming up allowing them to just be what they are and that will help the process along and help it to move through you now if you're resisting the feelings or if you are um, 
just completely blocking them out in, in some other way. And there's lots of ways to do that. I mean, you could even exercise too much and block the feelings um, that are coming up. You could also, you know, be eating too much to block the feelings out. So there's lots of different ways that, that you could be sidetracking your healing process. But, um... You need to confront it, you need to allow it, you need to just be in that feeling. And then that will pass, and you will move on, and you will get, you will heal, and then you will be able to heal others, or help others in the way that you need to. And whatever way you need to will come up for you. During this process, you'll learn little tiny things about what it is you're supposed to be doing. Your higher self will speak through you. The universe will speak through you. And you will learn through these little guidances and through these little insights and sparks of information, you'll find out what it is you should be doing. It's not always very clear because spiritual things aren't always clear. You've got to take little bits of information and take those and digest those and then try those and, you know, just, but just remember, be really, really kind to yourself and really loving and just know that this is just a process and you'll get through it and you'll be happy again and um, this is just what it takes. And so, having gone through this myself, I can now tell others that, um, you know, it's going to be okay and you're going to get through it. So, um, so many people are awakening now because we do have to do something about what's happening on the planet. We have to change the structures, the systems, um, you know, the pollution. Um, the way that we are um, handling healthcare, um, education, um, just really mistreating each other in a way that is not appropriate. Um, and, you know, all these things need to be changed. And every single person that is awakening has a special place in that system. For me, it's education. I'm really into education and educating people. So um, I feel very strongly about our educational system and the problems within it. Someone else who's awakening might be more into the environment. And I'm into the environment too, but it's not my calling. So they will be really interested in, you know, the plants and trees, the animals, and, you know, what's going on out, out in nature. And what are some of the systems that can be put into place that will overtake the old systems that don't work? None of it works anymore. And the more and more people that awaken, um, this energy takes over the old energy that's dying out. That old energy is dying out. And it's, it's, the problem lies in, in that we don't know what's to come yet. And we've created this big mess. And now we have to fix the mess and we don't know what's coming. This is all new. Evolution is always new. New things occurring. So the new ones are, the people are waking up and they're getting these ideas and they need to trust them and to go along with what they're getting so that they can be very, um, you know, confident in their mission and know that they are receiving messages that are true and real and that they need to be bringing these out into the world to help humanity. That's what this is about. This is what we're here for. We're not here just to sit around and kick back and hang out. I mean, I'm not. I'm not here just to just to hang out. And uh, you know, maybe some some of you are. Everybody's different. But I'm really here, kind of on a mission. And um, I really know that we need to get this going. And so 
that's what I'm here doing these videos for. So I hope that you all um, gained some insight from this video. And if you have any questions, please let me know. If you'd like to schedule a spiritual guidance session, go under the video to my website. And have a wonderful day. Bye.